The Jeep brand is 80 years old in 2021, and last year they gave us the new JT Gladiator pickup. We're used to having the Wrangler wagons in short wheelbase and long wheelbase form, but how's it going to work as a ute? And is it going to work well in the Australian bush? We've got the Gladiator Rubicon here with us, we'll take it out and see how she goes. Jeep dropped its JT Gladiator pickup truck in Australia midway through 2020 to deliver something all new and fresh to the 4x4 market. Basically it's a ute version of the well-known Wrangler wagon, but the Gladiator rides on a longer wheelbase and incorporates a bit of Ram truck rear suspension design under its back end. The Gladiator is not a 4x4 ute in the same sense as popular rigs like Hiluxes, Rangers or D-Maxes, it's more a lifestyle ute rather than a workhorse due to its relatively low payload and towing capabilities. Where it does stand out though, is its off-road ability where it is unrivaled. The Gladiator Rubicon is the off-road champion of the three model Gladiator lineup. It's also the most expensive, coming in at 76450 this one's got a handful of options on it, bringing its price up to $86,455 plus on-road costs. The 209kW V6 petrol engine, backed by an 8-speed auto transmission, is the only drivetrain operated in the Gladiator in Australia. The 3.6-litre engine surprises with its performance in a relatively large JT Gladiator. This is no doubt helped by the low overall gearing that makes it a bit sprightly at the expense of fuel consumption. The Gladiator, like most off-road Jeeps, isn't a particularly great on-road car, but the Rubicon variant even less so due to its high ride height, lower gearing and mud terrain tyres. It steers and rides better than the Wrangler wagon thanks to its longer wheelbase and the addition of Fox Racing shocks on all corners that are on the Rubicon model only. The Gladiator makes a lot more sense once you leave the blacktop behind. Again, the long wheelbase and quality shocks deliver a nice ride on gravel roads and good control over corrugations. The low gearing and disconnecting front sway bar allow the Rubicon to slink its way over rough terrain and uneven ground without lifting a wheel, while the lockers ensure the mud terrain tyres make the most of the available grip. The Gladiator's Achilles off-road is its long wheelbase and relatively low ride height, which makes it susceptible to grounding out its belly at its steep bumps. Another area the Gladiator falls behind is its load and towing capacities. The Gladiator Rubicon only has a 620kg payload a 2,721 kilogram towing capacity, so it falls short of other 4x4 utes on the market. But the Gladiator isn't your average 4x4 ute. As mentioned, it's more lifestyle orientated than a workhorse, and in Rubicon form, it's the best off-road ute you can buy bar none. If that's the sort of ute you're after, then the Gladiator should be the only ute on your shopping list. Jeep has showed once again why it's building some of the best four-wheel drives in the world. It's taken 80 years of experience building the Wrangler and its predecessors and turned it into a pickup truck, making it more versatile, a go-anywhere vehicle you can take around the world.